So I'm taking a snapshot out of my course. It's an online course called Finding Your Life's Purpose. And I'm going to take a snapshot out of that course and give it to you today so that you can take this away and do a little bit of hymn work and help yourself find what it is that you were born to do. Now, the interesting thing is, is we tend to believe that the thing that we are born to do is supposed to make us happy. Well, unfortunately, it's part of the human condition to never really enjoy being completely happy. Quite often what makes us happy are the things that we are striving for, the things that we achieve, long to achieve, get passionate about and are really into. Like the best part of a romance is the moment when you're like, oh, does he like me? Does he not like me? Are we going to kiss? Are we not going to kiss? It's the uncertainty. It's when you're striving for something. And then finally, when you really get the person that you've been wanting all of this time and the passion breaks and that kiss is just remarkable. Well, finding your life's purpose kind of like feels like that. It's like, woof, when I wake up in the morning, I am happy, I am doing something that makes me feel incredible. But it has to be something that really you're striving for. Your life's purpose tends to be based on what you don't like most about the world. Now that might sound really strange, like how can your purpose be based on what you don't like? Well, yeah, it really can. So when you think about what you don't like about the world, it's usually what you don't like about other people, because it's not like, oh, I don't like spiders. It's usually what you don't like about humanity. It might be greed, corruption, it might be cruelty to animals, it might be um, intolerance, it could be all sorts of different things. And then when you look behind, what causes people to act like that? So it might be um, intolerance of other people is caused by ignorance. Ignorance is caused by fear. So you start to kind of like look backwards behind what is behind the human behaviour that you don't like. And by pinpointing that, what that is, and no pressure at this point, quite often what you don't like about the world shows up over and over and over again in your own life and it is the thing that you were born to fix. Now no pressure, it doesn't mean that you're the only person that has to fix this thing, but it does give you an indication about the thing that you can do to make the world a better place. How that equals into a career, well let's add that to another little exercise. Have a think about six things that you can't stop doing. I don't mean your addictions and compulsions, this isn't a time to have a go at you about that one glass of wine that you're having every single night. What we're actually looking at here is the things that you can't stop doing. So for example, I can't stop giving unsolicited advice, whether or not I'm paid for it and whether or not it's welcome. I constantly believe that I have a better idea than anybody else about what they should be doing with their life, which must be really irritating for other people, so I do try and keep a lid on it. I'm constantly checking social media, texting friends, communicating with people, seeing how people are doing, uh, playing with my dog, having a good time, and basically just being a bit of a little socialite. All of these things add up to a career that I have made out of talking. So, <laughs> so in a sense, when you put together the six things that you can't stop doing and the thing that you don't like most about the world, you're starting to get an indication about what your life's purpose may be. Feel free to write in the comments of this YouTube channel any of the questions and things that have come up from the things that you can't stop doing or the thing that you don't like about the world. If you're thinking, hey Becky, great that you've given me this, but now I don't understand the answers that I've come up with to this question. So if you need a little bit of insight, just type in what you've got going on there, or even better, sign up to my online course, Finding Your Life's Purpose, which you can find on my website, beckywalsh.com.